This is the western approach to Bar Kip or the Den. The name Bar Kip may come from the word Blair. Certainly we know there's been a, a habitation here since the 17th century. The Den is a Scots word that means a sort of hollow between hills, which certainly describes the approach to the Den. The site here is where there used to be a hotel. Before that there was the blacksmith's house. Here's an old abandoned road running up towards, eventually, to Swindridge Muir. And on this side, what is now Gray's, a restaurant. This used to be, at one time, a garage and the site of a smithy before that. This is the lane here on this crossroads that runs down to David's Hill, which was an isolation hospital at one time, locally known as the Sikhus. Very little remains of what was once a very busy village at Bar Kip or the Den. Just to the left there was the old barony of Curzon School. Here's what some of the remaining houses. There was a bowling green here, the two pubs, a cinema, a police station, and there were several miners' rows here. So at one time a very large population. This is the site of the old barony of Curzon School, Shrope Church, at Bar Kip, or the Den. There are some sandstone ruins over there, of the older buildings. Looks like a more recent toilet block. Here's one of the outlying houses, although there were no houses in between this particular section. Just beyond here there's a, an old crossroads where originally there was a smithy and what looked like the blacksmith's house. Later there was a, a garage and a hotel there. Now there's Gray's restaurant or cafe. In this area here, there were several miners' rows. Also, there were miners' rows across this side of the road. The population of those alone must have been 100 or more. Just in the distance is Mall Side Estate. This place supposedly at one time had a reputation for drunkenness. It said, shock and horror, that people were seen drunk playing cards in the grounds of, of Mall Side on occasion. Other stories from here is that the mine workings were so close to the houses that people within the buildings could actually hear the signs of the picks as the miners were digging beneath them. Amazingly, about a mile from here in the distance was Bracken Hills Railway Station on the line from Giffen Junction down to Kilburnie. It had quite a few trains every day, a busy wee line at one time. Bar Kip had a small shop and also there's a nice wee poem that's been written by somebody who returned here many years after his time here as a boy and he talks about the old pub and the hole in the wall for which you could pass a jug to have it filled with beer. He also talks about the rep, about Rabbi's Bray about the, the, the nicknames of the local people.